This is going to be a quick video on how to use the TLR bleeder caps on your 22 uh, vehicles. So this is a bleeder cap, you can see the bleeder screw right there, and also it doesn't have a bladder anymore. That's the two biggest differences right there. So I'm going to go ahead and fill up the shock. Pull it up almost to the top. I'm going to work the piston up and down. Get the air out. Put a little bit more in. You can see how it almost creates a bubble at the top of the shock. And what you're doing is you're trying to get all the air out. So now we're going to take the cap. I'm going to screw the cap down. Take your screwdriver. Loosen up the bleeder cap. Or the bleeder screw. Then you're going to push the piston all the way down. You'll see how the oil comes out. Take your bleeder screw, put it back on. Oop. I'm going to work the piston back up and down. You should get a little bit of rebound, but with bleeder caps you don't get hardly anything. Right now I've got a little bit of pack because it doesn't want to go all the way up. So I'm going to do it one more time. Loosen it out. Up, down. It's pushing that little bit of air out that's still up in there. Tighten that down. There we go. And then take your shock tools and tighten it. And fill it one more time. It's pretty good. So that is the bleeder caps from TLR 322.